Dungriya Kand girls and women take great care in decorating the kapra ganda with rows of elegant motifs, often spending leisure hours of the evening singing as they embroider. The shawl once complete may be used by the woman herself or may be given to brothers, fathers and boyfriends. The shawl plays an important part in the courting rituals of the community. Like many tribes of Central and Eastern India, the Dungriya Kand follow a system of setting up youth dormitories. Dungriya Kands belonging to the same village are considered to be brothers and sisters. The village boys visit the neighboring villages to court girls during their leisure and the festival of Meriya. Introductions are first sought via the girl's brother to be followed up by visits to the girl's dormitory located at the fringes of every village. Here the visiting suitors join the girls in singing, dancing and joking at evening fall. <laughs> As the couple gets to know each other better, gifts are often exchanged. The gifting of a shawl and its acceptance is considered a mark of formal commitment and this event generally occurs during Meriya, the most important of the Kand festivals. The boy usually gifts a shawl embroidered by his sister to his beloved. The girl is free to refuse the gift and its implied proposal. Often, if the boy does not have a suitable shawl with him, he may attempt to snatch away his beloved's shawl. Allowing him to do so is also a sign of acceptance by the girl. More recently, the Dungriya Kand have taken to embroidering purses and other such small items to be sold locally to tourists. They occasionally prepare shawls for sale but are often reluctant to part with the finer specimens of their needlecraft. <laughs>